Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be things I have been loving. I don't feel like I want to call it monthly favourites anymore because I haven't necessarily been using it or loving it for a month. So let's get started. Just put through it away. First thing I've been loving is the Body Shop Almond Milk Body Yogurt. This is for sensitive skin. I absolutely love it. I prefer the body yogurts to the body butters because they absorb better, but you still get the same amount of moisture as you would as the body butter. They're also cheaper than the body butter. Not that that makes a difference to me, but I do prefer this, the body yogurts. So I've been loving it at that. Keep with body shop just now. The next thing I've been loving is the Drops of Youth, Youth Essence Lotion. As you can see it is well loved basically this is a gel like formula and what you do is you put it on your skin after cleansing as the first step before you do the rest of your skin prep and i just really love the drops of youth range number one best selling body shop product this is my second bottle i've used the 30 mils and i've used this 50 mils i think this one's 34 pounds for the 50 26 for the 30 but it's so worth it it's like botox in a bottle it is literally body shop's base sailor and i don't think i could not have it in my skincare now i just love it so much um i apply it morning and evening and it's really helped my crow's feet it's kind of reduced the lines on my forehead they're not as bad i just love it botox in a bottle and then following along with that is their drops of youth eye concentrate it's like a little roller ball you press this wee button here and then the gel comes and it's delightful i've got really sore gum and another body shop product i have been really impressed with is their lash hero fiber extension mascara this is a green one so you've got your fibers on one side and then you've got the mascara on the other side and i don't know if you get yeah you see that look it's just a lovely green color and i've never had a green mascara apart from remember this hair mascara you used to get and this is really really good i really enjoy it and i've been enjoying enjoying these two as a combo so basically i've got here the peachy glow insta glow cc cream healthy glow reviver with spf 20 and it says it's light to medium skin but i don't use it as a cc cream i use it as like a primer or on top of my primer and it is really really lovely then i have been really enjoying the fresh nude foundation with spf 15 and i've got the shade bora bora which is 012 the combo of them on my skin is just i just really been enjoying it and it just looks super nice i'll try to put this all here without knocking the camera okay so what else have we got there's no particular order really my lips are the bane of my life they are just so dry vaseline you've got umpteen like nivea carmex number seven all of these kind of lip balms do jack shit. Not even the Laneige lip sleeping mask. It does nothing. Your lips end up just wanting more of it because they're so dry. So I was like, I'm sick of this. I want something that's actually going to work, even if I've got to pay that bit more money. So I went on to Cult Beauty and I picked up this. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy with Acmela Flower Extract, Nourishes, Soothes and Defines. Now, 10 milliliters. Yes, it is £29. And I know you're gasping because even I was a bit like, fuck's sake. I actually didn't look at the size of it when I bought it and I expected it to be a bigger thing for the price. But this is the size of it, right? But it is so good. So you just take a couple of pumps and you put it on your lips, but also around them. 
Now, I, for whatever reason, because I never used to have it, I started getting this dry redness down here and this here, which is doing my head in because I look like I've got some tropical freaking disease and it's annoying. So I've been loving using that and it smells delicious. I know it's expensive, but it genuinely is helping. And then I saw Chloe Sims, who is from Tibby, going on about this. This is the Jouy Essential Lip Overnight Conditioning and Repairing Lip Mask. And it's in the scent vanilla and it smells divine. Again, I think this was £16, so not too bad. But I know a lot of people wouldn't want to pay that. They'd rather just pay for a wee tub of Vaseline. But trust me, the more you put things like Vaseline and that on, the more your skin's like, I need more, I need more. Whatever is in it, it just craves it. So I got this. And again, even though it says an overnight lip treatment I use it whenever I need to and as you can see it is a very well loved and again this literally does wonders like even the body shop born lippies and stuff like that they smell nice but they don't do anything if you've got severe dry, bad, chapped, sore lips. None of these cheap ones do anything. They honestly don't. I've, I've got a Burt's Bees one in my bag. It's okay. It's That one is okay, actually. And the one other thing that seems to help my lips is the Barry um, Coco Loco lip oil. I should actually have included this and that, but it's in my bag. But these, these work for me. And... I've got another one of the Laneige's lip sleeping masks, which everybody rants and raves about, but it's shite. It does jack shit. So, love those. Another lip product I have been enjoying is this Pericone MD lipstick that I got in one of my boxes. It says no makeup lipstick, and it can't remember what the shade is because it doesn't say on it. But... It is so nice. It's just a nice neutral kind of colour and I'll show you on the back of my hand there. It is just lovely and again it's very nourishing and moisturising on the lips and I've just really been enjoying that whenever I wear makeup. The next thing is this Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser. And it's in the shade Light 6W. Now, Pretty Fresh have just brought out foundations. So at some point, I will have to grab that and see. But I just love this. This is great. It is so lightweight. And it just gives you a bit of something, something without having your face caked in product. So I really recommend this. I have been enjoying this NARS Afterglow eyeshadow palette. I think I've only used it twice in a video, uh, but I really love it. It's got all these uh, lovely shades in it, and I, I just I just really enjoy it, to be honest. So I'm very glad that I splurged on that. I love this. This is a must-have. See if you want dewy skin if that's what you go for if you've got dry dull lackluster skin and you want that dewiness you're going to love this this is the glossier F future dew oil serum hybrid so it's like a skincare and kind of makeup basically i hadn't even heard of it i'd heard of glossier but i'd never heard of this really and then I, i've always watched poppy rawson but her channel used to be me my mouse or something like that and now she's just Poppy Rawson and she was just oh my god her skin looked amazing and I saw someone was selling a brand new one on Depop so I thought I'm having it so basically it says apply two pumps all over face as the last step in your skin routine add more to the high points of the face for extra glow so basically you can just put it on I've got nothing on my face just now you can put it on the way it is leave it at that or you could put it on at the last step, as it says, once you've done cleanse, tone, moisturiser, just to give you that luminosity. Or you can use it as a liquid highlighter. So far, I've only used it as, again, like this one, as like a primer base under 
and oh my god it's amazing really really good i haven't used loads of it yet because obviously i had that really bad reaction and i wasn't putting anything on but if you want a glow get it you won't regret it the next thing i've really been enjoying is this Primark highlighter it is an iridescent jelly highlighter um it's called lust after and i got it just to do a Primark makeup video because i've never really bothered to buy Primark makeup and it just looks like so and i don't know i just really really like it on the skin it again gives that kind of dewy wet look rather than the glittery glowing from the gods packaging's a bit of a pain but i really like it oh this is amazing this product again if you haven't tried this i got this in the same box that i got the pericone md lipstick in this is the moroccan moroccan oil treatment for all hair types and it's alcohol free this is only 25 milliliters and i don't know if you can see but i've only used that oh my god it is wonderful for your hair like i don't put it at the top of my hair because my hair gets greasy i mean i've washed my hair only a few hours ago and this is how lackluster and shite my hair looks it's not even colored and that but this stuff is brilliant you just take a pea size amount and what i do is i put it through like this section of my hair and i just absolutely love it so i'll definitely get this when it runs out then we've got some Fenty products. So if you don't know, Fenty and Rihanna have brought out cream products. So I love their bronzer. I've got the normal bronzer in the... What the hell is it called? In the sun. And I picked up the cream one. And this one is called Butter Biscuit. And I've only used it a couple of times. But I love it. It looks really dark, but it is so not. And I am obsessed with cream products right now. Cream blush, cream highlighter, cream bronze, cream blonde. Why can't I say that? Cream bronzer. It just looks so nice on the skin. So I highly recommend this. And I also recommend the powder one though, because it is good. And then I picked up three of the new Fenty cream blushes because i'm obsessed the first one i got initially was petal popping because i thought this is the most sort of you know wearable shade again the light and shit in here so i'll just show you like this the now but this is kind of like a more of a natural color out of the ones that she's got so we'll get that then I picked up Bikini Martini, which as you can see looks hella pink, but again, it is so buildable and it looks scary in the pan, but it really isn't on your face. And then the last one, and the last thing in the video is Crush on Cupid. And again, this looks like crazy mad red, but it is just so beautiful so so beautiful so i highly recommend these fenty cream blushes as well i would like to i don't know if there's any more of them shade wise that i would personally get i know she's brought out new lipsticks or shine lips so i would love to get a hold of them and i've still to try the hydrating foundation that she's got out i've got the normal one the same with matte but yeah honest to god so good so if you enjoyed seeing what i have been loving please do hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell button to be notified. The other thing I've been loving is me and Bruce, even though it came out in 2004, I think he said, have been watching Lost. It's really, really good. So we've been watching that and it's about a plane crash and obviously they're stranded on some island and it tells you all about their stories as it goes along, what happened before and all this stuff of thing. So it's quite good. And before that, we watched The 100, which is brilliant. I'm really not into sci-fi sort of mystery stuff like that because half the time I don't get it because right where my head. But I really enjoyed it. We've got three episodes left of that to watch, but they weren't out yet. So we're going to wait and then we'll go back to that. And we also watched something called I Land. 
on Netflix and it was kind of similar to Lost and yeah so we've, I've been we've been watching quite a bit of stuff like that reading wise I'm on my 18th book I just finished The Jigsaw Man by Paul Britton which was like a kind of a biography or autobiography I suppose he is a forensic psychologist or not even that he's not a psych he is a psychologist and it was good you know it goes on about different cases that he worked and he's looking into like why they're the way they are and it was just really interesting and stuff like that and I've also been loving my colouring books I picked up one from Home Bargains and I have been colouring and it is very relaxing and I've been really really enjoying doing that so yeah as I say hit the like button subscribe click the bell button and I'll see you the next time bye